What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Soul Calibur 6. We have been evil dude, evil dude turned good dude then turned back to evil dude and they split into two people kind of something. And then Sophia is a thing. And that's a thing that happened. Anyway, mostly cutscene, so shh. Sophitia was a baker's daughter, mm -hmm. chosen by the gods to become a holy warrior. With fucking humongous warlocks. She set out on a quest that would eventually lead her to the sword's wielder, Cervantes. Uh -huh. In a fearsome battle, she was able to destroy one of the swords. She did. Though successful in her quest, shards of the cursed sword pierced her body, causing severe injuries. Oh, boss. Her life was saved by the ninja, Taki. Whereupon she returned to her homeland to recuperate. This was Soul Blade the story? Days passed peacefully until one day. Until one day? Oh, Cassandra. It's so nice to have you back, my sister. You had me worried for a while. Sorry. I had no choice. I could never bring in the customers like you. Well, you're back now, so that's all that matters. I can hear Cassandra's original oh. voice in that. Sis? Oh. My chest! No wonder! Sis, are you okay? Nah, she's carrying two oh, heavy melons. So many lives <laughs> lost. I'm gonna stop with the same thing. So much! <coughs> is Rafi on? The matter? Oh, I don't um, think there's Rafi on. It's my sister. Oh, this doesn't look good. You should rest. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great advice. Thank you. Sis. See, I, I remember Cassandra's ending story to this, and it's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. The young man gave his name as Rothion. He worked as a swordsmith in the neighboring town. His chance meeting with Sophitia blossomed into a relationship, and then a promise to marry. But when they went to the temple to inform Hephaestus of their felicious, felictitious news, the god did not reply with words of blessing, but with a mission for Sophitia instead. Sophitia, Sophitia, you fulfilled your mission well, and I am eternally grateful. Yeah, I call on aliens from However, Toy Story. Your power is required once more. I'm asking a lot to Oscar, is isn't he? You the forge. Soul Edge, but it is regaining its power. It will soon pose a threat once more. Of course, it would. Why wouldn't it? I had a feeling this day would come. The cursed sword's presence grows ever stronger. Well, yes, yeah, one may be destroyed. Since finding a new wielder, it has spread its evil far and wide across the and land. And now one of them is fully powered up to one of its max. bestow upon you the power to cleanse evil, so that you may free those who have fallen victim to it. I understand. That's the weird thing about Soul Edge, it had like so much power that it was able to split itself into two different swords for Cervantes to use. But <coughs> if you run, if you Sorry. need the aid of your followers, choose me instead for her sake. I beg you to use me in her place. No one listen Rothion, to you, Rothion. You are a blacksmith. You shall produce arms befitting her task. I shall grant you the iron of the gods. Nice. Please, Rathion, assist me in my battle. Give her a good weapon, kid. Very well, they need Sophia. it. And you have two little beautiful kids. One's gonna be evil and cool. The other one's gonna be a prick. And apparently good. Rathion was coming close to completing Sophie's arms, though he knew this also meant that she would soon be embarking on her journey. While heading into the temple to pray for safe passage, Sophie encountered a man hailing from the east. For, same, for some reason, she felt the stirrings of fate, but put those feelings aside to prepare for her quest. I never did ask that young man his name. But he carries the burden of fate on his shoulders. <coughs> Another fate is sick for you? I feel as though this is the start of something big. Or is it Keelik? No Sophitia, idea. it took me some time. But I 
finally finished. Hell yeah, dude. I made this all for you. Thank you, Rothion. Try everything and see if it feels right. <laughs> do we fight Rothion with this? I'm a worthy opponent for a disciple of the gods, but I shall do my best. So it's not a fight to the death. But it's nice little, nice little clashing of swords. I wonder how Rothion fights. Oh, like Keelik, okay. Didn't think you would, to be honest. I'd have to fight twice with him. Just one will be enough. The the blue on the freaking shield looks very blue. Last time it looked very dull. Doing well with Sophia. All right, let's go. Do some more. I wonder if you guys should play as Lizardman in this game. I'm not too sure. Like maybe I have to do the main quest line to play as Lizardman. I am not 100 on that, but maybe, maybe the case. I don't know. I really don't know. Although, a little quick alliteration, or re, um, not alliteration, a reapplying of the rules. Not reapplying. Retelling of the rules. So, we'd be basically, when we do the storyline for these characters, they do come up with a storyline as well as some fights. The only one that doesn't happen with is Zaslamel. So, when it comes to Zaslamel, I'll be fighting, I'll be recording his dialogue and fighting in between each episode. Amazing! To make it go it well with so the fighting right. and stuff. It's even better than the It'd be very hard to do though. With last time. Glad to hear it. We might not do that actually. You know, I really wish you didn't have to go alone. Fear not. But I might do. I have your arms and armor to protect me. Will you pray for me? Of course. I'll pray for your safe return. Nice. You have kids. A Priya and a Patroclus. One's a prick. <laughs> I'll say it again and again and again. Charged with an important mission by the gods, Savitia steeled her resolve and embarked on her journey. This this time, however, the road ahead was even more perilous than before. Still, she forged on in pursuit of Soul Ledge, rescuing those overtaken by evil along the way, while also purifying the earth. Saturate. How awful. <coughs> too, I find the ravages of the cursed sword. Well, yeah. You only stopped half of it. <sighs> I thirst. Blood. Give me your blood. I cannot okay. give you my blood. But I can end your thirst. <sighs> what are you talking about? Do not be afraid. Silence! She's purifying them, not killing them. Who killed them? Oh wait, it was Patroclus, wasn't it? Who was killing the Malfested? Even though nothing was wrong with them. He thought he was being a good boy, but he wasn't. I remember five well. I didn't like number five. Number six, however, made it way better. Can't go wrong with number six. <coughs> I would say it's the second best. Out of all the Soul Calibur games. Maybe the third, because number two does hold a special place as well. But I do I do like this one out of the... Out of when they changed the story a little bit. Or when they changed like, the unlock method. That number four just gave you all the characters, number five gave you all the characters, number six gave you all the characters. There's a few unlocks here and there, but pay for them and shit. I feel like it just defeated the objects of how to play the game sometimes. But uh, I feel like number three by far the best. This is similar to number three, I guess. So I'd give it to this for a second. Customization's not 100% on it yet, but it's but it's but it's good. It's good. Do these guys die you after she purifies them? Agony. Don't know. The evil has dissipated. You have nothing to fear. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it. I hope I may help even but one more in your state. I know the evil must be destroyed at its roots. But how can I right now? I don't know. What can we do, Sophia? What can we do? 
So if he was attempting to cleanse as many from evil as ways humanly possible. However, those consumed by it often became formidable enemies who stood in the way of her mission. Fiercely combative warriors with techniques sharpened on the field of countless battles. These foes proved an, an astonishingly imposing threat. <coughs> We're nearly already over this. You. I'll kill you! Oh, you didn't die? Have I met my match? <laughs> Maybe you should submit! No, so you died. Never! Well, you got possessed. I don't know, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, kill Count Head now. Although I want to be annoyed for my friend hasn't done it by the end of the week because she said she'd do it fucking two weeks ago. That's right. Come on, bitch! Oh, I had my chance to power up my sword. Oh well, it didn't work, but. Oh, using the sea free style. Really fucking annihilate the bitch. Nice. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind doing that again if I could for the next round. Might as well wait until he gets fully charged next, right? So I don't know how to actually do the power moves anymore. Or if there is power moves at all. Nice. Don't kick me out of the arena. I know that's how you like to win. <coughs> it's infuriating that's how you like to win. Oh well. I'm all going to do whatever what's possible for me to players right now. Of course, DLC, DLC characters in the future may come when the time comes for it. But as for now, though, nothing too special. Get it out of the way when they come out. Get this out of the way. All the DLC characters that we've got thus far. Like, if not in this, I know there's, a, there's like a Harakuma, he's in there somewhere, something like that. And there's also B2 and Inferno. They're the three that aren't got story related character lines. Or so I believe, anyway. Right, I'm gonna do one of those. I didn't mean to do that again, I meant to do the power move. But I missed it, but it's okay. I went, for, I went to go for a grapple. I forgot the grapples aren't the same in this game, are they? There we go. Take that. Quickies. Done. What have you done? Please, forgive me. No nah. need for forgiveness. Oh, he got healed. I am here to save all from evil. In some way. I, I lost to nightmare, and then you got possessed. Nightmare? Yes. The wielder of a powerful sword, the Azure Knight. I faced nightmare in order to protect my homeland, but my challenge was in vain. Why? Die. Why did he leave without killing me? After that, I grew unable to resist the temptation to do evil. Please be still. Rest, Nightmare. He is the cause of all this horror. That is where Soul Edge must be. That's where Soul Edge was. May still be. I don't know. Whilst rumours of a knight with the great sword had faded into obscurity, they were soon replaced by unverified stories from people who claimed to have seen Nightmare. Sofiti decided to continue her search for the knight with the large sword. Oh, in Ostrinsberg. was supposed to be based in Ostrinsberg, but when I went there, Soul Edge's master was gone. I thought it was because Soul Edge had been destroyed by another. But if Nightmare still has the cursed sword, then he cannot be allowed free reign. Even yeah, well. with so little information, I cannot give up my search. I wonder how Sophie died. She eventually died. My some mission point. to save people from evil has not changed. Almighty Hephaestus, protect me. <coughs> okay. Oh, fair enough. That was an easy chapter. Finally, after a long journey, Sophie happened upon the Knight with the Great Sword. Who was said to possess Soul Edge? Does he have Soul Calibur yet? He's still there. Are you Nightmare? Oh, don't call me that. If you are Nightmare, then I must defeat you. I expected as much. No shit. And then I must destroy Soul Edge. 
Soul Edge is not here. Do you know where I can find it? <sighs> I know the road you it. walk is long and arduous. However, I can cleanse you of evil. And maybe even save you. It's too late. Stop! It's too far gone. If you really are not Nightmare... Leave me be! I want to save you. There is no turning back. Okay. Fair enough, is that where it goes to? Never again will I bend to anyone's will. <coughs> the old voice. Battle one. Oh shit, you got soul burn, fuck me. There we go, managed to hit him out of it. Very nice. Can I get soul burn? No, never mind. I was hoping I could get soul burn, but apparently not. Oh well. Better things have happened before. Bitch! Fuck you hell. Oh, nice dodge there, kid. I'll save for the next fight, just in case. You never know what could happen. Be doing in one of these rounds, I know that much. It's just one of those things that's gonna happen. Oh, block it. There we go, girl. I'm gonna go for a big hit now. We've attacked him. Never mind, we missed. That sub won't be able to pierce, though, would it? It's very big and clunky. The edges might be sharp, but it hasn't got enough point to pierce. Unless she was one of the, like, points of the edge. I have no idea. I didn't even press that button! Yeah, that's the fine move now anyways, good news. There we go, girl. Lovely stuff. Alright, one more for the fight. Let's go. Okay, you came running towards me instead. I was gonna run towards you, you motherfucker. Oh, well, what difference is it gonna make? You're still dead this turn. Nope. So, so, power move please. Oh, fuck's sake. Didn't get him cornered into a room, into a good enough corner for us all. Don't you go all freaking malfested on me, bitch. Try again. Fuck off. Stop blocking my moves, Siegfried. I'm going to kick you in the head. Okay, fine. I won't kick you in the head. Let me kick you in the head. Let me kick you in the head, Blondie. Fuck it. I'll <laughs> I'll do the next best thing. I shall pray for you. Pray him, pray him, cure him. All right. Oh, that felt so good. It's not going to heal him though. We just found out, found this out. That's why we made each other, right? I. I. The evil is still present. Yep. I've forgotten what it was like to feel so at ease. What are you? You feel at peace. Sorry, but you have my gratitude. Leave Soul Edge to me. No, wait. That's a good picture. Not gonna lie, we have to flick it back, but it's a good picture. However, I had a feeling I had done what I was sent to do. You do. Still, I know not if it is wise to leave everything in his hands. What, you think he's going to become evil again? Almighty Hephaestus, hear my prayer. Please watch over him. Well, he's old enough to look after himself now. He's in his 20s. <coughs> That's what we figured out yesterday. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound nice. to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. Well then. That just means that the credits should be on screen, and they are. Well, for you guys, though, not for me, because I've got all this background music to work with. But we've got Faldo tomorrow. Nice little easy, well, story, story. No, no, story, fight, 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 story. Yeah, not too bad. It's only five fights, but we can figure that out. But either way, though, there's nothing else to say about this apart from wait for tomorrow for Faldo, I guess. Ending on Yoshimitsu on the week. Very nice. But either way, though, that is all there is going to be for today. And as always, this is Rick's Light, signing out. So bye.